Why is Buck rubbing his nose back and forth on the ground? It's a sign of pride in male dogs. Uh, how was school today, bud? Uh, not that I care. I'm glad that you asked that, Dad, because I'm not being all I can be. Now, you know what we need in this house? Poison gas coming through the vents. He only thinks of himself. What do we need, dear? A computer. OK, I'll write him a check. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, even better, you know, go to the vault where we keep the gold bars and chip off what you need. <laughs> if anybody wants me, I'll be at the country club. They're having the big Al Bundy golf classic. <laughs> I'm hole nine. Come on, Al. Don't you want Bud to have all the things you never had? You know, an education, a good job, a happy wife. <laughs> Come on, Peg, you can't tell me that seeing me up to my armpits in misery doesn't make you happy. <laughs> Now, we're not getting a computer. Computers are ruining the country. Computers and women. Isn't they quite similar, Al? Because you don't know how to turn on either one. I'm not interested in either one. Mom, can I have a computer? Of course you can, dear. What color would you like? I must be dead. I speak. No one hears me. Now. We have to get Bud a computer. He has a chance to be the first Bundy ever to go to college. My Uncle Edwin went to college. He was a cadaver for the pre-med students. <laughs> and what about Kelly? She could use one. You know, she might want to go to college, you know. Oh, God. Remedial reading test tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, what do I care if Jack and Jill fell down a hall? <laughs> I mean, why were they even in the building? <laughs> Kelly, we're getting a computer. Oh, cool. What color? Well, I was thinking blue. <laughs> you know, we really need one, too. What do they do? <laughs> Al, do you know your dog is burying himself in your backyard? <laughs> well, I hope it's not the spot by the hose, because that little plot's for me. <laughs> Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Rhodes, we're getting a computer. Oh, Steve, a computer. <laughs> I remember our first computer. To buy it, we each decided to give up something, to sacrifice, so that we could have our little computer. Steve gave up getting a new car for another year, and I, I gave up my class on napkin folding. <laughs> Steve just let me. Now he's got a new Mercedes, and I'll never know how to make a napkin hat. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. But I'm working that out in therapy. <laughs> Meantime, you're getting a computer? We don't need a computer. And I'll tell you what would happen if we got one. Just like when we had the kids, everybody oohs and ahs the first couple of days. <laughs> then after the novelty wears off, it just sits there, collects dust, and cries for food. <laughs> No, I'm telling you, nobody needs kids. No, I mean, I mean a computer. <laughs> I used to be like you, Al. Well, not just like you. I'm, I mean, I cared about personal hygiene and... <laughs> had change for a dollar. But I, too, doubted the computer. No longer, Al. The computer can be your friend. Especially on those long nights when your wife isn't talking to you because you can't fold a stinking napkin. Well, I need something on those long nights when my wife is talking to me. <laughs> Much like a family, what will a computer do for me? We could do all sorts of things, like keeping up with sports scores. Newspaper. Social events. TV guy. <laughs> Organizing recipes. Don't eat. Doctor's appointments. Don't care. <laughs> Maybe we're talking to the wrong person. Peggy, a computer can be the most wonderful thing in the world. I'm sold. No deal. I can... don't care. I'm sold. Let's get one. Hey, hey I make the decisions around here. Oh, laser printer. And I'm telling you that there will not be any computers in this. And I want my dinner <laughs> and my slippers. Cause I'm the boss here. Damn it. <laughs> At least there's one place that I'm still the king. 